This is Close Your Eyes. A few months ago I made a video demonstration of semi-generative piano patch in Ableton Live. I got a lot of requests to create a tutorial on how I built it, so in this video I'll show you how to create this patch in Ableton Live using only built-in or free effects. Let's take a look how it works. First of all, we need an instrument rack. I already have mine here. Inside the instrument rack, I'm gonna create three chains. One chain should contain our main piano, and two chains will be used to create our semi-generative effects. So let's start building it. I use uh, Volna Piano by Felt Instruments, which is really amazing and which is free. Now we need three instances of this piano. This should be main, this should be left, and this should be right. Nice. So this piano should be clean, no effects here, and for these two we're gonna create completely identical effects chains. Let's start with this one. And first of all, I'm gonna grab the chord MIDI effect, for example this one. Uh, what chord does? It creates a chord out of one note which I play. So now I'm playing one note but we are hearing a chord. The next plugin is Arpeggiator, which creates an arpeggio out of the chord that we created here. This is how it sounds like now. Not very impressive, but let's tweak it a little bit. This should be random. Uh, this gonna be minor because I left minor. Uh, I'm gonna make it kind of two steps. Yeah. Yeah. Let's listen to it. It's much better, but still not very impressive. What I want to do now, I want to modulate the rate of the arpeggiator. Something like this. Yeah, now I'm doing it with my mouse, but I can modulate it via Alpha O plugin from Max for Life. So here it is. So and now I'm gonna map the Alpha O to the rate and tweak it a little bit to have cool results. Something like this, I think. Let's listen to it. Yeah, for now it's fine. So, uh, the next plugin is MIDI effect and it is velocity. And what I'm gonna do is to reduce the high velocities, something like this. 
make it a little random and a little compressed. So now I have a control under my generative echoes. Uh, let's turn on main piano to hear the difference. So As you can hear, now I have the really loud main note and some subtle echoes going on on my left channel. Because I put the velocity plugin here and reduced the high velocities. Okay, uh, we are pretty done with this, but I want to add a few more plugins to make it a little more interesting. First of all, I'm gonna grab my Max for Life reverse delay. Here it is. It's kind of simplest reverse delay plugin I ever saw. You can use your favorite. I love this. And drive it gonna be like this. Delay time, feedback. Yeah, that's kind of nice. And at the end, I'm gonna use Echo Lift by Pure Magnetics for some delay weirdness. It's like a delay, but it's like a glitchy, weird delay, which I really love. So, cool. Now, I'm gonna copy this chain and paste it to the right channel. And tweak a little bit some parameters to have these chains not identical have a little difference between these chains. Of course, I'm going to turn this on. Yeah, I like how it sounds. So the last thing I'm going to do is map some parameters to my macros. First of all, I want to map uh, arpeggiator rate, which is controlled by L4 offset. So I will map offset to my macro one. For both chains. Yeah. Now it's very fast, but I can slow it down like this and to find some sweet spot and to make it faster or slower while I'm playing with some MIDI controllers, which is, I think, really great. Okay, uh, second macro gonna be our velocity. course for two chains as well. I'll leave it for now in the middle. And the third macro I'm gonna map with dry bed of reverse delay. So 
So now we have no reverse delay, but with tweaking this knob, we can add this effect. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope it was useful for you and see you in the next one. Bye.